we're gonna do, we got a guy here in a remote location. I'm gonna have him throw to simulate a bird coming in. I'm gonna raise up and I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate it to the point. I'm gonna be using a duck call just to put all this together. I'm gonna shoot the gun. I'm not gonna add a lot of distractions into it, but I, it will, as we do, the next shot I'll be hooping and hollering and kind of what I call jacking with him a little bit, trying to get him go before I actually send him so that I can make the corrections. Because the crowd I hunt with after we volley into a big bunch, you know, yee hee, we got him, I right, get this one, do that, uh, and then all that going on, that's usually enough distraction to get a dog at semi-steady to go ahead and break. And we do not want the dog to be to, to leave the pit or the dog stand in the blind until seeing on the retreat. Sit. <laughs> Ready. As you saw, he stayed there the whole time, marked the bird, going across. He didn't move until I actually sent him on his name. Now we'll, we'll kick it up a notch, and we're going to add more distractions to him, a little more hooping, a little more hollering, a little more into it, and he doesn't need to leave. If he does leave, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to correct him to him to get back in here and, and not going to let him make that retrieve until I actually send him. Good boy, Ready. <laughs> As you can tell, I mean, that's very important because that's the same kind of stuff that goes on every, sing every single time we volley in the ducks. There's some kind of conversation, something going on. These dogs are listening for any word that they can go on. This dog's name's Reddy. If I would have said Rick or, 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 or anything that started with an R, he'd allow to be gone. We're going to test that theory on the next volley. <laughs> I'm making that dog listen for that every word, and I'm, I'm really, I'm never in a big hurry to send a dog. You know, on this morning's hunt, there was times those dogs have to sit there for a minute, minute and a half. We get those dogs not used to going just the second the birds hit the water. There's no need in it. Make sure the, the birds are dead. You'll see us, we're, we're real good to shoot the cripples on the water. Make sure that they're not going anywhere, and it's just another way of making these dogs steady. 